The ministerial committee tasked with implementing the political program for solving the crisis in Syria continued its consultative meetings with political parties and popular and social associations. The committee, headed by Prime Minister Wael al-Halaqi, met the delegation of Popular Front for Change and Liberation, chaired by Adel Naisi. Premier al-Halaqi reviewed results of recent meetings to exchange ideas and viewpoints in order to make the national dialogue successful and meet the Syrian people's aspirations. Members of the delegation presented their ideas and proposals in this regard, proposing mechanisms to solve the unrest. They also denounced the acts committed by terrorists and takfiri groups against public and private properties in an attempt to destroy the national economy. Deputy Foreign Minister Faisal al-Maqdad presented, during a meeting with a Czech media delegation, a detailed review of the political program for solving the Syrian crisis and procedures taken by the Syrian government to implement it. He lashed out at some European countries for standing by al-Qaeda and its armed groups, including al-Nusra Front in Syria, providing support to them to commit terrorist crimes, referring particularly to the role played by Britain and France in supporting terrorism. Secretary of Iran's Supreme National Security Council, Saeed Jalili, has affirmed that offering foreign military support to terrorists in Syria in order to kill innocent citizens is unacceptable. In a press conference following the second round of nuclear talks with the group of 5 plus 1 in the Kazakh capital, Jalili said the Syrian people are the ones who should decide their own future away from any foreign intervention. On the other hand, Jalili affirmed his country's rejection of the attempts to ignore its rights to possess nuclear energy for peaceful purposes. In Damascus countryside, terrorists blew up Al Sham Al Jadida gas station on Harasta Highway. A police source in Damascus countryside said that the terrorists planted a number of explosive devices inside the station and detonated them using a remote control. No casualties were reported. Army units carried out a series of operations against terrorists' gatherings and dens in Douma, Deir al Safir, and Shaba areas in Damascus suburbs. An official source said that a terrorist's hideout was destroyed with weapons and ammunition in Douma. A number of militants were killed, including leaders of two armed groups. Syrian border guards foiled an attempt by a terrorist group to infiltrate from Lebanon in Adlin, Halad province and the Tahune crossing point in Homs suburbs. On the other hand, an army unit destroyed a terrorist's gathering in Al Taifur area in Palmyra in the western countryside of Homs. In Hama Governorate, the Syrian Arab army continued to chase terrorist armed groups. In Srehin area, Syrian army units confiscated a large quantity of weapons, including machine guns, RPGs and automatic rifles, in addition to a satellite transmitter. They also destroyed a hideout used by armed men that contained Turkish-made medical equipment. Army engineering units also defused a number of explosive devices planted on the road between Hama and Aleppo cities. A Syrian army unit foiled an attempt to blow up a booby-trapped car driven by a suicide bomber near a barricade in Saibin in Ariha province in Idlib suburbs. The car was destroyed and the terrorist was killed. Another army unit targeted a number of terrorists in Saraqib, Deir al zughub and al Hassun crossings near Binish and the Nairab village. Huge losses were inflicted on the terrorists who were killed or wounded. Syrian army units stormed into a hideout for terrorists in the area of al huwaqa in Deir al-Zur city and killed and injured all of the insurgents inside it. An official source said Syrian army units also clashed with an armed terrorist group that tried to attack a military post in al-Salhiya area in Deir al-Zur countryside, adding that scores of terrorists were killed. <laughs>